That's the ultimate goal, right? <laughs> right after lunch, I got some pretty, very fucking good news. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to week three of the challenge that I'm recording every single day and documenting into like a mini series on YouTube. It's currently almost 8.30 in the morning. Woke up as usual at 7 a.m. Actually woke up, I think literally around 10 seconds before my alarm went. Um, so that shows that I'm really getting back into my rhythm, which is nice to see and nice to feel. Um, another way how we are starting off this week very, very nice is the fact that we just hit the first leg profit target on the Phantom Long position that I shared the other week um, in the video as well. So if you watched the previous video, I will leave a link in the description. The plan for this week for Bitcoin is pretty clear in my opinion. We still have a bigger draw liquidity to the downside with a very... You guys might be wondering why I'm sometimes cooking shirtless, well, actually always, because otherwise the smell of the, of the food is like getting into my clothes and then that way it doesn't really smell that nice to be very honest, so I just try to prevent it by cooking shirtless and also when you cook shirtless you just, you just feel like a G, you know? <laughs> so once more guys, same day, similar lunch, we got the ground beef grass fed, we got some beef liver over here as well grass fed two pasteurized eggs some sardines and some kimchi honestly it tastes really really good i really love this kind of lunch and i almost eat it every single day throughout the week and then during the weekends i just eat whatever the fuck i want and it works very very well for me okay guys it's about an hour before the new york open i'm currently looking for a potential brand new long position on bitcoin as you guys can see i just closed the phantom position for a total of about a one hour gain on the account which is lovely since it was a weekend trade so beautiful beautiful work for a week and i'm looking to use some of those profits onto this bitcoin trip what we are currently looking at is that we have the weekend high over here that is unswept something that you have to realize as a trader in case you are trading crypto of course is that these weekend highs and weekend lows and these weekend moves that we see over here they often get retraced and swept now we can see that asia was moving sideways London offered us a dump. Now I'm looking for London to potentially play out this manipulation over here before getting that expansion towards the upset towards the weekend high during the New York session. In about 45 minutes, I will also be streaming live on Twitch, which I do every single Monday at 15 past three, where I'll also be looking for a potential fill on one of these two orders. Usually I don't really trade Mondays, but this setup over here, right here that I just showed you guys on the screen, looks a little too clean not to potentially engage with it. In the background, I'm preparing some fried sweet potato together with some fried zucchini and out of the oven, I'm preparing some cod. First time ever preparing cod, so interesting to see how it turns out. Just finished up on a Twitch live stream, still waiting for the Bitcoin long position to get filled. Very happy with the profits that I took on the Phantom position since Phantom is now tumbling a little bit. After finishing up on my dinner, I'm going to prepare myself for the football training and that will be it for the day. Very productive day. If Bitcoin gets filled as well, also curious to see how that trade turns out. But we might also pump from here without filling me. Did a lot of work, already finished up all work and it's 4.30 almost in the afternoon. And then after the training, I'm going to prepare myself for bed and then prepare myself for tomorrow. And then we have another productive day. Good morning everyone, I had a very very busy and very hectic morning, it's currently 15 past 10, already did quite the work, already put in a live stream, already reviewed the trade from yesterday on Bitcoin that I will show you guys in a little bit and already filled in new Bitcoin orders just yet as well. Um, later this afternoon I'm have a coffee with one of the members actually that is in Amsterdam today and wants to meet up and have a coffee so I'm going to do that later this afternoon. I targeted once again earlier this morning live on stream both the statistics and also my technical analysis are currently showing that in my opinion there's a higher probability of continuing higher for the day and maybe also for the week um, but in order to position myself I need first a bit of a pullback into this POI that I marked out where we have this previous bearish fair value gap that is now turning into an inversion and in Inside of that inversion, we have this bullish hour for fair value gap with a few low time frame breaker blocks as well. Yesterday, unfortunately, which was very, very, very unfortunate, we got front run by a few pips 
on that massive long position that I shared in yesterday's recordings as well. As you can see, this is very, very, very close front run over here and afterwards the price pumped straight to our take profit target. So once again, bias and analysis were right, but the execution was a slight bit off, which unfortunately is quite, um, let's say unfortunate, but it's part of the game as well as a trader. It's now 15 past 12. I have about 30 to 45 more minutes to put in some work over here at the home office before I'm going to have a coffee with Yuka, who is a, a follower and, and member of several communities in the space and also slowly turning to full-time trading and he's Dutch and he asked if I uh, would be open to have a coffee with him and obviously I'm always open to, to have coffees and, and meet up with members and followers um, as long as they come across uh, trustworthy of course but he definitely does so I'm excited for that to have a coffee with him and just yeah, chat a little bit about trading and, 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 and that kind of stuff um, and then afterwards I'm going to put in some more work and then tonight I'm actually going for dinner with my mom, my father, uh, my little brother and Keanu and Stijen, my two best friends. So that's going to be a blast for sure. Um, really, really looking forward to that. Um, so lovely day so far and this is obviously also showing like the, 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 the pros, right, of online entrepreneurship and full-time trading and that kind of stuff. I get to schedule in my own day like my mom just called me and she was like hey i'm in amsterdam in about 15 minutes i'm going to have brunch would you like to join me and i was like yeah let me put aside all of the work that i have to do because i can do it later on today um, let me reschedule a few things and i'm i'm coming straight away <laughs> home about an hour ago um, in about 45 minutes the New York opens uh, is, is going to happen right and during that time I want to be behind my screen more often than not because we have a lot of volatility around that time and our Bitcoin long order might get filled around that time so there will be an interesting hour or so during the New York open um, was nice meeting up with Yuka um, had some really lovely conversations. I think it's a good example of someone who has been in the trading industry for about five years now, is in between going full-time trading and, and quitting his job or remaining with his current full-time job and just part-time trading. I think a lot of people at some point come at that crossroad where they have to take the leap of faith and quit their full-time job to go with full-time trading, which is obviously a big struggle for a lot of people and I completely understand that and what I would always recommend and what I also told you guys that always make sure that you have some sort of steady cash flow either from a part-time job or or from like a, a passive source of income or anything like that before you really go full-time trading because once you go full-time trading and you have to start paying the bills with trading there's an extra psychological effect that comes with it as well right so we had some interesting conversations for sure really really nice and lovely guy um, for real unfortunately we got stopped out on a bitcoin long position um, as I said earlier this morning in the stream as well, it was difficult for me to really find a bias for the day for Bitcoin. Unfortunately, I probably should have stuck with my gut feeling that there was no proper bias for the Bitcoin uh, trade at, 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 at that point in time in this morning. Um, currently actually, right before I'm leaving to pick up Keanu and to go for dinner, I'm also entering a long position on BNB, which I also charted earlier this morning. And that one has been following the plan to perfection. So now anticipating that plan to be completed later today where the statistics are showing that there's a high probability to form a new high for the day and that there's a decent probability for the daily low to hold and we are looking at a low time frame accumulation manipulation and distribution pattern so we are currently positioned in this long as you can see over here during the day bnb was accumulating right now we have seen a move below that accumulation range over here and we have seen a strong reaction so far reclaiming that previous reaccumulation range now i'm hoping for potential distribution higher towards that high time frame bias and liquidity and as a first target these relative equal highs over here for bnb as well that should also be a drawn liquidity as you can see we market entered over here so far we are in slight profit that doesn't say much yet i'm hoping for continuation over here for bnb 
If this trade is going to play out the way that I want it to, then it should lock in approximately 2.8R, which should make up for the Bitcoin loss and offer us some beautiful profit. If we are going to take a stop loss on this one, unfortunately it will be two stops for the day and I will take a break from there, but hopefully this one is going to run to profit. What are we up to, my friend? We're going to have some dinner with your mother and your brother and our very good friend. Best friend, Staya. Yes, sir. Amazing. Good morning, darling. <laughs> First cup of coffee of the day, already did the morning routine, already did a bit of work. Um, about to have the daily live stream of the day. Later tonight at 8 p.m. Central European time, I believe, we have FOMC minutes. Um, so I'm expecting a bit of a choppy London session and also expecting a bit of a choppy New York session. I, I am seeing a bit of a short setup on Bitcoin, right? Actually a pretty clean one. But I think I'm gonna have to wait with inserting these orders because I'm expecting weird price session before the FOMC meeting and then also apply the 100 and 200 EMA on a 4 hourly time frame we can see that this is not looking too bullish right now Yo, freak! Hey, yo! Not the contract for the new suit in the regels for September Let's not look at the day in the set Okay, your suit Yeah Okay guys, so a bit of a chaotic morning um, just done a meeting with Declan and Aaron who are two guys from Scotland who I'm I don't know, I've been mentoring Declan for a while now. He's now profitable on his own as well, so I'm not really mentoring him that much anymore. But I told him about the statistics dashboard and they were very, very interested in that as well. So I explained the dashboard a little bit to them and I've been, I've been teaching them a little bit about it earlier this morning during a session together with them. They're two proper lads as well, so it's always really fun talking to them and, and all of that. And then afterwards I was talking to, uh, to Ilko, who is uh, one of the guys from the Unpackers podcast, like I said, we are trying to plan one with Folies. Pretty hectic, um, trying to plan everything, Bart is on holiday, Jorn might be going on holiday tomorrow, uh, on Friday as well, so we don't know yet if we are going to pull this off actually, so we were discussing the plans for that as well. Um, and right now I need to do some updates and, 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 and some charting and some updates on Twitter and need to record something for, for TikTok as well. Just got back home from the coffee, made some lunch and right after lunch I got some pretty very fucking good news. Um, the podcast with Folies is a go, just book the studio. We know that Joran, our videographer and, and, and CMO will be there, Ilko will be there. Unfortunately the other host of the Unpackers podcast Bard is still on holiday so it will just be me Ilko and also Folies talking about a bunch of stuff. We still have to prepare everything, all of the topics, all of the questions and all of that. Um, that is something that Ilko and Bart will do and I will talk about and discuss that tomorrow with Ilko. Um, so we'll pick up Folies Friday afternoon around 2 p.m. in the afternoon, drive to the studio, record the podcast, drop him back at his hotel because at, uh, at night he has an event um, or dinner or something like that. But yeah, like I said, very excited for this one. Can't wait to share this one with you. Um, excited to meet him as well. Seems like a like a proper nice guy. So can't wait for this actually. So right now what I am going to do is I want to surprise him with a little gift. Uh, I know that he's from Ireland. I know that Irish people like a good whiskey. So I'm going to, to the store now to get a good Irish whiskey. At least that's what I'm aiming to get. Um, as a little present for him. And I also need to get the champagnes for the um, office warmings of both Mikael and also of Bybit. So that's what I'm going to do next and then afterwards I'm going to go and look at some more charts and see if we can find any interesting setups during the New York session. Okay guys, the New York session started about 30 minutes ago. I've done everything I had to do for the day. So I was looking for another setup and I actually found a pretty interesting one potentially on AVEX. Both my technical analysis and the statistics are showing that there's a high probability for continuous upside for the day. Over here on the right you can see the setup that I'm looking to enter on AVEX and the limit orders that I have set for this one. 
And then on the left in the VIP channel of our Discord server, I have uploaded a video explaining the entire setup, both with my technical analysis and also with my analysis based on the statistics, okay? So to always educate the members on why I'm entering certain trades and to make sure that they do not only profit from the trade ideas and the signals, but at the end of the day, my goal is for each and every member to turn profitable themselves so that one day they don't need me anymore. They just still want to hang around obviously in the community because that's that's my other main goal to to build the strongest community out there but then one day they don't need my signals anymore they don't need my exit education anymore and then they get to have their own channel in our discord server where they can share the trades like flow is doing for example right now that's the ultimate goal right so i would never ever just provide trade signals and not explain anything about those signals right usually i enter most of my trades during the, the morning stream, but early this morning during the stream, I didn't chart the setup for AVEX. I found this setup later, right, a few minutes ago. I still decided to make a separate video on this setup to explain it to them why I'm exa exactly entering the setup that I'm entering. Hey guys, for dinner tonight, I'm actually going to prepare a wild sockeye salmon um, from Alaska. This is, in my opinion, how a true salmon should look like, so not farm raised or anything, just wild cut salmon. Um, I'm going to prepare this with, once again, some fried uh, sweet potato and some fried zucchini. So once again, very simple meal. Oh, that's even in memo. Yeah, okay. But verder gingen we wandelen to Zaterdag. Okay guys, lovely way to end the day off with a training session and coming back home from the training session, seeing that our AVEX long position hit the first day profit target. So that's a lovely way to end a lovely day. Right now, just quickly updated the members on the position, updated on Twitter and in other Discord communities that I'm active in, that the first day profit target has been hit, stop loss at break even, risk free position, um, about to have a shower, or actually I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take a bath. And then after the bath, I'm uh, prepare myself for bed, going to bed at around, I don't know, probably 11, 11.30. And then afterwards, I'm going to sleep. And then tomorrow we have another day. Maybe we, we wake up with another take profit on AVEX. Otherwise, we are going to do some new positions tomorrow after the morning routine.